Priority, Palavin. What's priority mean? Uh, priority... So, ha- have you looked through the main or through the quest log at all? No. Um, so, the priority missions are the priorities. So, are these quest logs on... Oh, I did this mission. Yes, this is, a, this is the kind of mission that moves the story along. Yeah, like, there's some I did this one, but I didn't know... I don't know why I did it. <laughs> you probably just went to the main map. Yeah. And said, okay, this is flashing. I'm going to go there. Yes. Um, That's what I did. If you dig a little bit deeper and go into the quest log, uh, you will, like, they're all categorized. And they're not, it's not very clear. Okay. It, they, they didn't do a very good job of it. Um, if it's a priority mission, that means it's going to move the story along significantly. It's a main mission. It's a main mission. The N7 mission that I did uh, two videos ago, that's not a main quest. It's completely skippable. To finish the game, you have to do, I think, 13 priority missions. Okay. Um, some of the Citadel missions, there's like a lot of other side quests that you can just skip. And if you... It's important to know this because... Uh, if you want to do everything, you should try to do everything that's like marked on that map as it that's comes up. not priority before the priority missions. Now, I didn't run into this because close off because missions. I figured that off quickly. It will close off missions. You you will be locked out of doing some of the non inconsequential side quests. Like there's lots, you know, those stupid citadel eavesdropping side quests that mm-hmm. I was talking about a couple videos ago you will uh, those will expire but they don't you know those don't affect dramatically how the rest of the game plays out they just give you more money or more experience or uh, both of those things they can also give you more um, what's it called more war assets oh yeah and like inviting overall. Diana Allers onto your ship is worth like <laughs> yeah. 0.5. Yeah, it's worth almost assets. nothing. <laughs> That's it. It's almost <laughs> nothing. Um, you mean Jessica Jobit? Yeah. I think she looked pretty hot in this game compared to real life. Not that she's not unattractive. In, wait. I thought she's, she's not fucking unattractive. annoying. She's really fucking annoying. In the game. <laughs> okay. I wanted her to be the reporter that you just punch out, that you punched out in every game previously. <laughs> yeah, you punch her out so easily in this game? No, it takes two punches. Oh, I mean, like, it's so easy to punch a woman reporter in the face. On camera. Yeah, like, that seems, that seems like something insane. you shouldn't do. <laughs> I wonder if you're playing as female Shepard, if... You like bitch slap her, or if you actually <laughs> sock her like male shepherd does, or you whip out a double ended dildo and and uh, oh, what's his name? Is it Hackett, the black dude that's in uh, ass to ass? Yeah, that's in uh, Requiem for a Dream. Starts yelling ass to ass in the two and yeah. Allers and the other bitch that you've punched in every. Yeah, I'm sure that's in the game. That's in. You should have just played as Fem Shep, and then you would have got to see that ass. Is to that ass like and... the hot coffee mod, like in GTA? <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. What if some crazy fan fiction? So what's you mean the, like the stuff we just invented? Was actually like that. What's the deal with your I armor? I wouldn't jerk off to that at all. Oh, uh, so right now I'm using the Blood Dragon armor, which is fairly expensive early game. Mm-hmm. But once you get past only like midway, one spot you can buy it, or can you buy it from your ship at any time? Um. So. You can buy any item at any time from your ship, but it has a 10% markup. So I kind of went over that when I went in the basement. He's like, yeah, I can pretty much get anything, Yeah. but it will cost you. Yeah, exactly. But it's 10% markup, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I just, you know, and anything that I want, I just buy through that store. I don't care enough. Yeah, he's to like, like, you should just buy shit when you're at the Citadel. Yeah, and it's not, uh, in the previous games, there were multiple cities you can buy stuff from. from. But there, in this, it's either the Citadel or, and it's, I think, only in the Presidium Commons that you can buy stuff. So it's either in Normandy or the Citadel? Yeah. It, one area on the Citadel. It's not like there's multiple regions on the Citadel where you can yeah. buy stuff. No, that's not, 
100 percent true but it's pretty close pretty concentrated yeah but i just i don't know you get so much money in this that you really don't need to anyway so this is the blood dragon armor and it this is the best armor for adepts it gives you uh bonus power damage it gives you bonus power recharge time and it gives you i think bonus shields i don't remember exactly but it gives you the most stuff for powers and it's like um have you experimented with the armor customization at all in this i mean i changed the look of it just because i only had like one set oh like the casual look yeah did you do that gay yeah the, the gay indie look where it's like, like a leather the gay vest? caveman or <laughs> yeah yeah i picked the gayest one possible okay um, <laughs> i know exactly what you're talking about uh and I put pink as the default color of my armor, and the secondary color, and the tertiary color. Oh, okay, that's not what I'm really talking about. Or well, I'm not what, either. What I was I'm thinking about. in addition to. Okay, so you, you know how, like, like... When you're on the ship. Like, here, you can find arm guards, and gauntlets, and chest plates, yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, Shoulder pieces. Right, the blood dragon armor is everything. It's, it's one, set. one set. You can't piece it out like the way you can a lot of other things but it didn't really seem like a lot of the other piece by piece customizations had any power bonuses mm -hmm. so I'm pretty sure that this is the best around armor. Yeah. so now we got uh, but you could make it pink if you wanted right uh, I don't know I didn't really bother customizing it at all but when you're on the ship, you're wearing your, like, gay pirate outfit? <laughs> no, I left it to the default. Uh oh. My first time through, I kind of cycled between a couple of them. <laughs> the, um, the dominatrix outfit. The brown dominatrix. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Jeez, that is a... Ooh, when you think about that, the brown dominatrix, that is an awful, awful so, name. So, I was wearing that, that like, a lot. that weird, the weird gayest outfit mm -hmm. with, like, the vest thing. When mm -hmm. I was uh, doing that little sparring match with uh, <laughs> the, the dude <laughs> in the basement. Yeah, James. Yeah. Got Freddie Prince James Jr. Freddie Prince. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like boxing with him, mm -hmm. like asking him about his past. Meanwhile, I'm like dressed. <laughs> yeah, you're dressed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not derogatory gay, but literally gay. As gay as you possibly could. Like, when, like you know, people say gay as in... Oh, that's gay, but they just mean kind of weak and effeminate. But then there's also, oh, that's gay, as in, and people say, yeah, you probably like. People cock. say, oh, that's Jewish, but then there's certain things mm -hmm. that are Jewish characteristics. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're fighting a brute right now. So just do the warp throw combo, and you like look at how quickly I kill this guy. Like dead. Oh my god, dude! Do you know how long it took me to kill that guy? Forever. 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 You can't stasis them. I went over this. I died a lot, before. actually, because I'm like, two of them came out, and I'm like, I'm just running away from them the whole time. That's the last part of this video. There's yeah. actually there's three in the final camp, and they're, uh... Yeah, I was like, yeah, this game has been super easy, and then there's like two of these things charging me nonstop. Mm-hmm. They're not... They're pretty easy. Uh, if you... So on my guide on the site... I outlined, wow, Carl's <laughs> licking my beer. Um, awesome dog. Uh, I outlined exactly what to upgrade, but I think the most important part is um, the biotic explosions. So there's, you've kind of looked through a little bit of those kind of forks, right? Like, yeah. you know, there's, there's a lot of different possibilities. The biotic explosion bonus is very important for warp. Or, yeah, for warp. And, uh... Carl, quit <laughs> licking me. You're really distracting me right now. Um, and then also the level 6... Trash alarm. Trash alarm. Uh, you get bonus damage versus armor. So... Gesundheit. <laughs> 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 but I outline all that in the homepage of my guide on the site, so. Should've checked that out. 
if you want to know how to play this. Do you know in the games they always Carl. say like big set pieces are cool? This uh, game does a good job of those. You're not too far into it to have a lot of big set pieces. I mean, even in the demo. When you're what just set pieces were in the demo? When you're just running along that path and there's just those huge roads on Oh. And it's doing like the inception noises. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah. I think of set pieces more interactive uh, than background. More significantly different gameplay than the standard for the game. So not just big things happening in the background. Right. Like that huge robot. Uh, so Mass Mass Effect 3. Saints Row 3. A set piece would be when you're riding on the back of a chariot and there's gimps dragging other chariots around and then when you shoot them, they explode. Because like that's kind of out of the main running and shooting gameplay. The Kronos boss fight in God of War 3. Which one is that? The humongous boss when you just like are ripping his fingernails off one at a time and like climbing and up his arm. Yeah. He's like a million times bigger than you. Yeah, yeah, yes. I would call that a set piece. Uh, also in Saints Row, the Deckers Must Die mission that froze because it's like, it's pretty similar gameplay. It's identical gameplay if you break it down to just the basics of running around. But the... The whole world is so different, and you're a toilet flapping around, and then you yeah. have the Mega Blaster, and then you're fighting this crazy so boss. You don't think in just Tron. huge robots in the background is a set piece? Mm, uh, personally, no. I think that you could easily argue the other way, but I, that's not what I think of when I think of that. I okay. think of more. It it needs to be dramatically different from. I mean, like ninety five percent of the gameplay in this is. Identical to the identical rest. Identical to the rest, yeah. I, I think of the set pieces as the few parts that are that stand out from the rest of it that are very different. Okay. And there are a couple of those in this. Not a ton, but the the few that there are are good. I liked. Like I would call uh, uh, the chasing Doctor Eva a set piece. A set piece. If you could fail more easily, and it wasn't that good of a set piece, if that makes sense, because it's not... That was not a good set piece. That was not a good set piece, but it is a set piece, okay. because you're not taking cover shooting, taking cover powers, taking cover powers. It's... Something uh, different. Okay, uh, Modern Warfare 1, Call of Duty 4. The AC-130 <laughs> the AC uh -huh. mission, yeah. that's a set piece. Okay. The rest of the game is the game the rest of the game you know so one great thing about this combo and especially for multiplayer when you're playing in adept is that when you use that combo against the brutes is that you're killing everything around the brute like i get first place in almost every multiplayer game that i play by accident because I do the biotic because you care. Well, because I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> because I, I I keep using that combo against the Atlas or the Brute, and it's killing with through explosions all of the other enemies around it. I'm just racking up points like fucking crazy fast. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's the end of Palavin. <laughs>